Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we will be setting up the GIMP. The first thing you'd like to do is make sure that your GIMP program is set up in single window mode. In order to do this, you will need to click the Windows menu and scroll down to single window mode at the bottom. Uh, if there is a check mark beside single window mode, uh, you're already in this uh, window setup. However, uh, if it does not have the check mark, you're going to want to make, make sure that is selected. Next, we will be docking various dialogues. Um, on the left hand side, you should have your toolbox, tool options, and on the right hand side, in the upper right dock, you will have uh, layers, channels, paths, and undo history. In the bottom right dock, you will be uh, docking brushes, patterns, and gradients. In order to dock these dialogues, you're going to need to click Windows, select Dockable Dialogues, and select Tool Options. Once you've selected Tool Options, you'll need to repeat steps one through three to dock all the remaining docks. You'll need to dock not only tool options, but layers, channels, paths, undo history, brushes, patterns, and gradients. And we'll review moving these dockable dialogues on the next few slides. Once you have all the dockable dialogues docked, they should all have generated in the upper right hand corner of GIMP. In order to move these, you need to left click and hold the dialog tab in order to drag and drop it to its desired location. You will be dragging the tool options tab to the bottom left hand corner of your GIMP uh, underneath your toolbox. Note that when the area turns blue, you can let go of the left click button and it should drop the dialog into its desired area remaining a single window. Once you've completed docking your tool options, you can then proceed to docking your brushes, patterns, and gradients. In order to dock these in the bottom right hand corner, you would left click brushes, drag it to the bottom right hand area of GIMP, indicated by the orange area, orange arrow. Once the area turns blue, you can then release the left click button and proceed to dock patterns and gradients along with the brushes. All right, you should have your GIMP completely set up and all of your dockable dialogues in the desired location. Once you are set up, you are now ready to begin. If you have any additional questions regarding setting up GIMP, please feel free to reach out.